All right, I guess I'm live, and this is my first Facebook Live, so I'm trying to figure out the technology, and I'm not sure how to tell if anyone's here. I think there's supposed to be a number if somebody's here, so I'm going to go ahead and say nobody's here, but that's fine. It's just like I'm talking to myself. So I'd like to know, what are you planning on doing this weekend? Do you have anything fun scheduled for this weekend? Hey, Aunt Judy, how are you doing? Any fun plans? Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Vince. I can't imagine what time it is in um, New Zealand. I'm guessing it's probably the middle of the night. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. So, any fun plans? I don't see any fun plans. I don't have any fun plans either. I think I'm going to be painting my daughter's bedroom floor. Kelsey is celebrating Canada Day. I guess you guys do that the same time we do 4th of July maybe. So I'm glad you're packing. So let's do one word check-in. How are we feeling right now? I'm going to have to go ahead and say that I feel loved right now. I'm really excited to have all these people um, joining me on this Facebook Live and to have so many people join me with uh, <laughs> join me with um, this challenge. I'm laughing at you, Vince. It's 11 a.m. I thought maybe it would be like 2 o'clock in the morning. Hey, Dee, how are you doing? Yeah, I guess it's probably cold there. All right, so... Um, one of the things I wanted to do is just kind of explain what we're doing for this July challenge. It's really just supposed to be a focus um, every day of finding an opportunity to love people. And I like to be kind of not plan it, fly by the seat of my pants type of person, but I think with a challenge like this, we're going to have to prepare in some way. So I have cards to send out and I have some ideas that I posted and I think some of them are fun. I think I might have to do a ding dong dash. I hope everybody knows what that means. I've only heard of it in terms of a terrible prank, but I think we could probably take that and turn it into something fun, leaving a gift on somebody's um, porch or something like that. The other way to prepare is to prepare our hearts because I know in the effort of trying to give out a lot of love to other people, we have to first establish a good connection of receiving that love from God because we're not the source. We have to be all you know, connected to the source of love in order to give it out. So I've come up with a devotional framework that I'm gonna share with you guys that you can use or not use um, for this, and I'm calling it an upward, inward, outward framework for a daily devotion. And the upward, of course, is probably super simple to understand, but the upward is first fixing our connection with God. So it is beginning with beginning your day with checking in with the source of all that is good and all that is love. We do that with prayer, with reading the Bible, uh, listening, just being quiet and listening and reflecting on what we've read, and I like to journal also, so I have that on here too. Sorry, I'm smiling because I read Dee's comment. I'm good, Bunky. We call each other Bunky because we shared a bunk bed in college. Um, she makes the joke that we both stepped in because she's rather short and I was rather tall. So she got the bottom bunk, I got the top. Anyway, that's probably more information than you needed, but it was a nice smile for me. Okay, so the second part we started with the upward, the second part is inward. And this is where you check in with yourself. As you know, sometimes you can be in a funky mood just because of something that's going on with you. Maybe you haven't had enough sleep or you haven't had enough rest. Um, so in this month, it's good to listen to yourself and make sure that you are listening for any sort of emotions or anything that needs to be checked. Don't just go on and maybe binge eat on a whole bunch of social media and then it puts you in a funk. And then that doesn't really help you show love to other people at that point. So first listen, you know, how are you feeling? You know, how do you adjust any thoughts that might be affecting how you feel? And then when you're addressing thoughts, I have six steps 
The first is to write that thought down. The second is to ask yourself, is this thought true? A lot of times you can look at a thought and one that um, I used to have all the time is, I'm ugly. And I look at that and I'm like, well, I might feel like it's true, but I don't, I can't say for sure that I know it's true. Some people may say I'm not ugly. And so when you write down an ugly thought like that, it makes it really obvious to see that that thought may not be true. Like nobody likes me, nobody wants to hear what I have to say. You can look at thoughts like those and when you write them down, it's very clear to say that those are just a bunch of junk. The third one, is this a thought that I wanna keep or does it help me? What would it, this fourth question is, um, what would it feel like not to believe this thought? The fifth one is probably the most important at this point. What does the Bible have to say about that? And of course, that is the truth and our source of truth. And then for six, I have, what is a thought that I'd rather have said? And for this, I often take the Bible and I'll put it in my own words and turn it into my thought. And then I will post it up. I showed, I put this in the background, but these are thoughts I'll often write down and I'll have them posted where I can see and see them when I'm working. And then after adjusting your thoughts, also keep in mind to nourish your body and nourish your mind, get enough rest, take your vitamins and your pills if you need them. I find it really amazing that when Elijah had his spiritual issues, after you know he goes on up into Mount Carmel and calls fire down from heaven and defeats all of the bad people and has this amazing victory. And then afterwards, when he realized maybe the nation wasn't going to turn to God, which was, I think, his entire intention was to have people's hearts turn to God, he fell into a really deep funk, and he told God he just wanted to die. And when God talked to Elijah, he didn't say, you know, oh, you have little faith, or where, what's wrong with you? He didn't berate him. He said, eat and sleep. And sometimes when we get in a funk, that's what we need. We need to take care of ourselves. And then the last part of in, inward is to focus. You know, where are we focusing? There's a lot of things vying for our attention. So it's really, care, it's really important that we focus on what's important. And then the third step is outward. So we have inward, sorry, upward, inward, outward. And outward is really not any steps. That, that's just the result of doing the work of, you know, connecting with God, connecting with ourselves, and then we're able to connect with others. So I hope you like my framework. It's going to be tomorrow's blog post, and I will put it out in the in the um, group also. And then if you're looking at my table, I decided to have a little bit of fun. How many here are interested in prizes? If you're interested in prizes, type prizes in the comment. Oh, I don't think anybody wants any prizes. That's fine. I can keep all this wonderful stuff for myself. Okay, well maybe somebody on a replay will be interested in, in prizes. Vince, that doesn't say prizes, it says nice. <laughs> prizes, there we go, good, good. So the prize that's in here, this is, this is gonna be the prize for the end of the entire challenge. Oh, we see prizes, good, good. But I've decided, I'm not gonna show you what's in here. What do you feel? Is that sad? Do you wanna see what's in here? Well, that one's gonna have to wait. But I do have some, I've decided that's gonna be the final prize and I will send out prizes every week. So this is one, one set of prizes that I wanna give out. This is a set of cards. This is probably the first prize I'm gonna set out. Do you see how pretty that is? Do you think that's really beautiful? Oops, let's sit down, there we go. <laughs> Not gonna show you the main prize, not yet. But what do you think, do you like the cards? These are really beautiful. These were done um, by a friend of mine, she's an artist, and she has created these cards, and I am going to um, send this out to the first winner. And the artist is actually in our group. So if you're interested in these cards, let me know and I will maybe out her. So another prize that I, I'm gonna give, I'm not as good of an artist as um, my friend, 
but I created these three by five cards just to remind me. And these, this is this will be another prize. Not the not the stand. I don't think anybody wants a stand. I made it out of scrap wood. If you really want a stand, I'll make you a stand too. But um, the cards were actually the um, other gift that I'm going to give. So I'll give out gifts once a week. Now, are you interested in how you can earn a prize? If you're interested. Um, well, so many people have already said yes, so surprise me with a fun word. How about that? If you're interested in knowing how to win these prizes, then go ahead and type a fun word in the comment section for me. I'm glad you like the cards, Maribel. Vince is very interested. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a post up every day and that's where you can share what you've done to love your neighbor. And for every bobble, that's a fun word, I like it. Lethargic, D, gonna have to work on it. <laughs> I almost think there's like a delay because this is pretty funny, it's coming up kind of late. So what I'm going to do is I'll put up a post once a day and when you participate in the post, it's an entry and then we'll take all of the posts for the week and if you post it in all seven of them, you'll have seven entries. And then um, we'll choose a prize that way. <laughs> Say it several times. It, 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 or are you talking about lethargic? I'm not saying lethargic several times. <laughs> oh, you guys are actually cracking me up. Lethargic is an onomatopoeia. I had to explain onomatopoeia to someone the other day. That was pretty fun. There is a delay. Okay, good. That explains a lot. So if I swear I can actually cut myself out, like maybe stop it. <laughs> well, that's all I had for you today. Do you guys have any questions for me? You like my cup? Can you read that okay? You know what's even more fun than saying the word onomatopoeia is spelling it. Well, I'm not seeing any questions. So, thank you, Maribel. So, um, let's just end this with um, with a one-word check-in again, okay? I like all this interplay. I did amazing. Thank you, Aunt Judy. I appreciate it. I think you did amazing, too, showing up, and I appreciate that. No, spelling is hard, so no. <laughs> Do I enjoy white cheddar popcorn? Um. <laughs> okay. All right, we're good, then. You guys all have a great night, and I appreciate you. And we'll see each other several times. Um, I'll do a Facebook Live when I give away the prizes because I think that's kind of fun. You guys have a great day, and let me figure out how to end this video. Bye!